Okay, we are back again. Okay, we are waiting for Instagram to connect. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's taking a little bit long. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Where is our Instagram? There we go, there we go. Okay. Okay, we are live, we are live. Greetings, royals. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Okay, we are back again. The challenge is the network. Um, we are here for an inspiration for you recap. Okay, so we are going to be very brief today. We're going to be very fast. We are looking at the inspirations for this week. Happy Friday, by the way. Happy Gratitude Friday. Okay, so without wasting time, let's go straight to the inspirations. Um, we will talk and talk and talk until next uh friday but for today i think i'm just going to be very brief uh let's go to the inspirations on monday what was monday saying because you didn't get it right yesterday it doesn't mean you won't get it right today royal go back to your drawing board and re-strategize for your great success you can do it okay so because you didn't get it right yesterday you shouldn't be discouraged royals you need to go back to your drawing board and re-strategize okay you need to re-strategize and find out okay how best can i make it work this time okay so let's look at the inspiration you are not a failure and you will never be you can only learn and be better don't be threatened by fear and necessary challenge instead take advantage of of it to make your day great and your tomorrow greater okay so you need to take advantage of challenges royals every time take advantage of what happens to you don't take it too personal don't you know look at yourself and say you know what i failed yesterday i don't think i will make it today take advantage of every challenge that come your way because remember you are a victor you are a success you may not have gotten it right yesterday that shouldn't limit or discourage you rather learn from it uh, learn from that yesterday to make your today even more productive okay so when you don't uh, if you don't get it right yesterday make use of the mistakes that you made yesterday to uh, to uh, uh, make your today better and your tomorrow even more greater okay how you learn from the mist mistakes and this time around you make sure that you do it right okay so go back to your drawing board royal and re-strategize pray for increased wisdom let the holy spirit reveal unique solutions ideas and ways to bring in greater results in all you do it's a new week and a new day make it productive and worth celebrating on your gratitude friday okay so that was on monday saying make your week more productive make everything productive so that you can celebrate on gratitude friday okay so don't feel discouraged royals don't feel discouraged just because you didn't get it right today didn't just because you didn't sign the deal yesterday doesn't mean you're not going to sign it today and even tomorrow you need to re-strategize put on your, your your you know go back to your drawing board and check again what can i do how best can i make things work here and you do it okay so don't be pushed by yesterday's okay if you can't see any vision when your eyes are open then just close them okay you know this part oh wait, it was actually a bit complicated to put this together because i was trying to think okay this english how am i going to put it together okay so the whole idea the, what what the spirit of god was saying to us here and as i was sharing the bold point is you know if you can't see anything with your eyes open like if you can't see anything then you have to close them so when your eyes are open because you know that people when you say with you mean you are fully aware that your eyes are open but then what i'm trying to say is you know, when you know that you can't see anything with your eyes open, when your eyes are open like this, then you have to close them. Now, what you see with your spiritual eyes is reality, real. Vision doesn't lie. You have to believe what you see and act upon it. So your the vision that you see with the spiritual eyes, it doesn't lie okay you need to believe what you see that bigger picture of yourself you need to believe it 
and act upon it you know because you know you can see big things you see yourself succeeding you see yourself doing great you see yourself winning you see yourself oh my word i see myself driving that car i see myself in that house i see myself you know ministering to many i see myself changing lives you can see yourself doing so much that is the reality of the vision okay so it doesn't lie let's see what it says okay you have to understand the power of vision royal so that means we need to understand the power of vision we need to understand its purpose and its use okay i think we'll talk about vision and all these like some other time like because we are planning like i said i'm always tempted to talk you know that so we are planning to do a lot of personal development programs for an inspiration for you right so we are going to be sharing so many things learning so much of which it's not going to be like a once-off thing or one-time thing we will be learning like every now and then like once in a while we will have some certain programs that we would want to do together then we will get to learn about all these things but now because it's an inspiration for you recap we're just doing the recap for this right so um, we'll talk about this some other time and I'm, i i will write this down because i always write down things that we need to do for an inspiration for you recap preparing ourselves for what is ahead okay now learn and practice to visualize if if you know you will get distracted by many things when your eyes are open then go to a quiet place alone and close them okay so here i'll say that if you know you get distracted when you're with people you know when they, it's too busy then go to a quiet place where you know you're not going to be distracted by anything nobody's going to distract you right and then it says visions are powerful and real what do you see how big is the picture does it scare you so when you look at everything when you look at the vision that you have when you look at you know when you close your eyes and see that big vision how uh, how does how do you feel what do you see and does it scare you when is it scare i'm not talking about fear putting it fear to you no but as in do you feel like whoa god can i do this because god gives you what is bigger than you so that you can know he's bigger than the vision itself god is bigger than the vision is bigger than you so he gives you what is bigger than you because he knows you can handle it why because it's all about his ability not your ability okay so god will give you something that is so huge and big and you'll be looking at yourself like can i do this can i really do it you know and um I, I I remember it, it. This actually happened with me, and when I was writing down the vision that God gave me, and I realized there was actually a very big vision. And I'm looking at myself. I'm like, Hey, girl, are you sure you can do this? Are you sure you will do this with what you have, with who you are? Do you have this? Now you start asking yourself, Do you have qualifications? Do you have this? You know. But when God gives you a vision, He gives you provision. And when God gives you something that's big, He knows that He will cater for the ability you know for you to do it so if that vision is scaring you or maybe it gives you some goosebumps you're like man like you you sit on the edge of the chair at some point you're asking yourself am i gonna do this like really because it takes so much it needs so much from me do i have the ability you know then just know that god is at work okay that vision is big that's how great you are don't doubt it or be moved by your current temporal situation you are a great person work towards your vision and bring it to reality you are a spirit being see what the eyes of the spirit see with the eyes of the spirit rather and believe what you see vision doesn't lie what you see is your reality bring it to manifestation okay so now what when you see such visions when you see big visions when god gives you a vision your responsibility is to bring that vision to manifestation like i was thinking of it the other day i'm like yo the challenge that i'm having right now royals like when i'm looking at myself i'm looking at everything that is in front of me right now that is on the table all that needs to come to reality to manifestation i'm like man the only challenge that i have if i say i have a problem what i'm saying i have a challenge at this stage is to bring all those things to manifestation is to make them tangible 
okay so when you get to that level you know that you know what you are pushing you are pushing royals so what the responsibility that we have here is to bring all those things to manifestation god wants us to bring our visions to manifestation bring in results tangible results okay results results royals that's what god wants in us right now okay so let's look at on wednesday what is wednesday saying i think if i'm left with like five ten minutes then when i'm done here i can be able to share something it doesn't matter that's wednesday it doesn't matter how many times you may be knocked down by circumstances of life royal you have to gain your within power get up and face your world again because christ in you is the hope is the hope of glory so it doesn't matter how many times you may fall okay it doesn't matter how many times you can get into temptations you know i mean into 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 trials into challenges you have to get up dust yourself and keep going you need to gain your within power royals okay you need to gain your within power and push and push get up royals it doesn't matter what may happen it doesn't matter what may have knocked you down at this point there's no time you have to get up get up royals okay so let's look at the inspiration what is the inspiration saying at this point forget about embarrassment that is the honest truth royals you need to forget about the embarrassment okay forget about being embarrassed forget about um okay so it says at this point forget about embarrassment you can't be declared a champion without a fight okay so i know that some people will fall into challenges and you they feel embarrassed like who oh, i'm so embarrassed that i had to go through this situation i'm embarrassed that things didn't even go right i'm embarrassed that this is what happened i'm embarrassed that i was rejected i'm embarrassed that you know i, I went to apply for this and I, I only got rejections i'm embarrassed that i went to to a certain organization i went to certain people and i didn't do well and they said because of this you know so all those things they shouldn't embarrass you being embarrassed is actually part of your growth you know if you have never been embarrassed in your life royals i don't think you are really ready because being embarrassed should come to a point whereby it doesn't matter anymore. You don't look at it anymore. What you are focusing on is you becoming better. You have to make mistakes. You are bound to make mistakes one way or the other. And yes, mistakes will happen. But then are you just going to stay there, hide yourself and say, I'm embarrassed. I, I, I made a mistake. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I couldn't do that right. I'm embarrassed there. I couldn't speak right. I'm embarrassed. I didn't, uh, you know, communicate right. I'm embarrassed. If you do that, then how are you going to grow? Because you need to give room to embarrassment for you to learn, royals, okay? At this point, forget about embarrassment. You can't be declared a champion without a fight so you can't be declared a victor a winner without an embarrassment one way or the other real take that you are a champion because you have the courage to face any opponents with a winning mentality and faith in god so you have you have to be encouraged right it doesn't matter how many times you may you may be knocked down it doesn't matter the amount of bruises and scars you may get as for scars it's not new at all jesus christ himself had scars so don't be ashamed so you can't be ashamed of your scars royal you can't be ashamed of the past you can't be ashamed of you know uh this once happened to me and so forth because those are the things that you learn from okay let scars be your evidence your voice and your proof that you have the ability to fight and win because your scars are a proof that oh you once fought you know even if you would have failed but the truth is with with that scar and because you are standing today that means you fought and you won okay so scars are evidence and your voice it uh, um it says what let scars be your evidence your voice and your proof that you have the ability um okay let scars be your evidence your voice and your proof that you have the ability to fight and win so if you have scars you have evidence 
and proof that you do have the ability to fight and win because remember with the when the, when you have a scar it gets healed then you are still standing you're like oh yes I, oh yeah what happened to you there oh you know this guy once cut myself there or this was happened i once fell but today you are standing you're strong that means you have the ability to stand okay there's hope for you royal fight and will you are born a champion remember christ in you is the hope of glory okay so you are born a champion if you have scars praise god that you are standing okay if you have bruises thank god for them that means that you are a fighter and a winner fighter of i mean uh, it can be bruises of you know maybe past and so forth let's look at the thursday one before we even go there because that's this one is connected to thursday okay so let's look at the thursday one don't let the past drag you backwards royal you have to press on move forward and look at where you are heading to don't wait until you are ready to make a move you move regardless or else you will wait for the rest of your life okay so don't let the past drag you down don't let your mistake drag you down don't let what once happened in the past drag you down you have to push you have to move okay you need to move forward because if you consider your past you will remain on the same level now you don't want to remain on the same level you don't want to re remain uh, with a uh, regret and say maybe if i could have done this way maybe if this would have happened to me maybe that no don't let the past drag you backwards royal okay don't let the past drag you backwards you need to focus you need to move forward you need to head up and be away you okay? don't wait until you're ready you know there's some people that when they fall into some challenges they want to wait until they're emotionally ready uh, spiritually ready and so forth if you do that you may wait for the rest of your life because that when it comes to emotions okay when it comes to your emotions how you feel that thing needs a fighter you must be a fighter for you to conquer emotions. You must be a fighter for you to conquer negative emotions. Because if you're not careful, you know what happens with your mouth? You keep re re reversing, I mean, rewinding that thing. And the time you think of it, it, it looks like it's new at that particular time. That's what your mind does. Because it, it cannot differentiate the old and the new. Your mind is like that. It was created like that. It just brings everything as it is. So if you think of your past, the worries, things that, uh, you know, hate you, that makes you cry, and so forth, you will find yourself crying. You will see yourself crying. And you see at that time, you're not even supposed to be crying. So you have to be strong when it comes to emotions. Control your emotions. Be that kind of person who is able to control emotions you need to control emotions you mustn't allow the past drag you okay you think of oh they did this to me oh this person did this to me this is what happened to me if not for that situation maybe i wouldn't be there if not for this you know you start thinking of all those things and by so doing you are dragged backwards so you don't want that okay or maybe you know maybe if i would have done things this way this would have happened oh my friends did this to me and so forth you see things like that so Philippians 3 13 to 14 says brothers and sisters I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it but one thing I do forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me have, uh, heavenward in Christ Jesus so that was Paul was saying you know what I forget about the past I press on I look forward okay so that was Paul then he says if Paul could let go of what was behind, then you can also let go, Royal. Let go of yesterday's disappointments. Let go of anger and pains and of the past. Let go of the fear of the unknown. So you need to let go of all those things, Royals. You have to let go of the past. Forgive. Let go of pains, okay? It's time you let go and press on. If you wait until you are ready, you may wait for the rest of your life, royal. Put your faith to work, royal. See light in the dark. See yourself doing extraordinary things because you are a supernatural human being, okay? So see yourself doing extraordinary things, royal. It doesn't matter what may have happened to you. It doesn't matter what may be happening to you now, okay? It doesn't matter at all what matters is you pushing pressing on like paul 
forgetting the past. You need to forget the past. You need to let go of the past. Let go of those pains. Okay? Let go of those pains. Because the more you hold on those things, you are dragged down. You will remain there. And we don't want you to remain there like a royal person. You need to move, royal. You need to move. So let's look at Friday. Today's Gratitude Friday. Happy Gratitude Friday, royals. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Gratitude Friday. Okay, so it's Gratitude Friday, royals. You know I love Fridays. Oh, my word, I love Gratitude Fridays. Let's see what Gratitude Friday says. So gratitude is enlargement. Being grateful at all times is permitting yourself to grow bigger and greater, royal. Gratitude is enlargement. So when I'm a grateful person, if I'm grateful, when I show gratitude to my Heavenly Father, that means I'm ready for enlargement, right? Being grateful at all times is permitting yourself to grow bigger and greater. Your gratitude becomes a magnet for more blessings. So your gratitude to your Heavenly Father becomes a magnet for more blessings, okay? So we have to be grateful to God, royals. So gratitude is enlargement. The more grateful you are, the more you the more enlargement the more you enlarge the more you become greater and greater let's read let's read this is english royal you need to bear with me sometimes honestly because i i know me i'm not um okay let me not let me not try to make cause some divisions here okay let me not go there all right you need to bear with me. If I make some mistakes, please just understand that it's it's mistakes. I'm learning, Royals. I'm learning. But the truth is I would have communicated, right? I would have communicated what needs to be communicated. So you, di you, you didn't know how you were going to come out of that situation. Now it's a reminder. The Holy Spirit is reminding us. You didn't know how you were going to come out of that situation. But God made a way and you came out anyway. You didn't know how the money was going to come, but it came anyway. You didn't know if your business was going to pick up again, but it did anyway. Oh, another thing, you didn't know if you were going to face the world again without courage, but you did anyway. Should I go on again? Then the hashtag says, be grateful. You have seen the hand of God in your life. You have seen him protect you and take you out of the worst situation ever. Be grateful to God. It's gratitude Friday, royal. Count your blessings, celebrate, celebrate victories, and get ready for more. Okay. So you see that royal. God is reminding us. The Holy Spirit is reminding us. There was a time where you thought, man, will I ever face the world again with this embarrassment? Will I really face my world again with what happened to me? Will I be able to do it? But you did it anyway. Why? Because God gave you strength and courage to push. God gave you strength and courage, Royal. So what does that mean? You trust in God. You depend in God. You lean on God. So that means all the things that you do are dependent on your God. So what does that mean? You will have to uh, be grateful to God at all times, Roya. You know, a person who is grateful to God always has a way of expanding. Like I was saying, that, you know, with this heat right now, you know, when the heat really gets into you, you feel so miserable, you feel somehow, and you start thinking, oh, man, this heat is too much. Oh, this, I don't have, mm, excuse me, I don't have strength. Ish, I'm supposed to go and do this or something. I don't have the strength to go do it. Oh, man, I'm supposed to go and do this. I don't have strength to do it. What am I going to do? Your courage, your strength comes from God. The Holy Spirit himself. So you know that those days whereby you you wake up and you're like, man, I honestly don't have strength to do this thing. But you have to do it anyway. Why? Because Christ in you is the hope of glory. Okay? Christ in you is the hope of glory. So you have to be grateful to God at all times, Royal, and look forward to greater miracles, greater blessings. Because if you are grateful to God at all times, expansions are guaranteed increase is guaranteed royals okay so learn to be grateful to god not once not twice not when you feel like you have to be grateful to god at all times 
at all times royals okay so those are the inspirations for this week royals okay hope we learned something i'm sorry i was a little bit fast i'm running out of time and i just wanted to make sure that i do the recap i thought let me even do it earlier because it's supposed to be at 7 p.m i said like, okay let me just do it earlier you know because i know later on we may have like the schedule may change for our power so forth so i said okay let me just quickly come through and do the recap while we still have time okay royal so those are the inspirations for this week i hope we learned so much okay we will have time to really talk some so some deep thoughts about the um an inspiration for you and also just i think we are almost there royals we are almost there we are almost there we're going to be talking about um how our next year will be like and the things that we want to do for an inspiration for you some of the things will be a surprise okay so i'm trying you see i'm already controlling myself keep quiet all right so an inspiration for you is all about your personal development royals okay god cares about us god care you know there's one thing that you need to understand without an inspiration in your life if you don't have anything that inspire you 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 dread yourself you must be inspired every day you must be encouraged every day every day you must be driven by something every day for you to keep pushing what is driving you what is driving you Okay, so I know, you know, as a child of God, you are driven by the Spirit of God. And God gives you a purpose for living. God tells you what to do and he guides you, isn't it? Okay, so that is all royals for today on an inspiration for you recap. Go and enjoy your Friday. Go and enjoy your weekend like a royal person that you are. Like I always tell you, enjoy your life enjoy your life you have to enjoy your life royals be happy put a smile on that face and enjoy your life enjoy your life you have to enjoy your life <laughs> that is all royals I just want to make you smile let you know that you are precious you are important you are royal you are a queen you are a king god loves you so dearly okay so go and enjoy your weekend god bless you so greatly i love you this is rati shalom and please kindly go to our youtube channel at fountain insights tv and also join us on sunday at fountain insights church as we share the word of god all right so that is all for today on an inspiration for you recap see you again next friday i love you so much god bless you Take good care of yourself and enjoy. I love you.